communism in the last 50 years. It's the professors, it's the educationalists, it's the journalists. They are the shock troops, the Gramscian shock troops of the future. And one of Gramsci's all-star disciples, Saul Alinsky, became one of the most influential radicals of the 1960s. Well, Saul Alinsky was a, he was a prominent radical in, in 1930s Chicago. He worked closely with the Communist Party. He used to go down um, and train at the rifle range with Leon Dupre, who was uh, later a mentor of Barack Obama. And they used to train to shoot because they knew the revolution was just around the corner. But that didn't come, so they, he, he got a bit more subtle. Well, Saul Alinsky called for a um, uh, community organizer to stir things up, to create uh, agitation. In fact, he said you'll be accused of being an agitator, and that's exactly what you are. He wanted the haves and have-nots fighting with each other. It wasn't until I was watching an old film from World War II that I realized what the left has been doing in America to pit the poor against the rich, blacks against whites, and the young against the old is the same tactic Hitler used to disunify Germany. You see, they knew that they were not strong enough to conquer a unified country. So they split Germany into small groups. They used prejudice as a practical weapon to cripple the nation. Remember that when you hear this kind of talk. Somebody is going to get something out of it. And it isn't going to be you. And they used the conflict as justification for more government to stop the chaos. So they create the chaos, and then they step in as a solution to the chaos. And as Francis Schaeffer said, once this chaos comes, most people will willingly give over to an authoritarianism because they don't want the chaos. His book was kind of the field manual, if you will, for these activist organizations. Which President Obama studied and taught at a workshop for four years in Chicago as a community organizer for ACORN. As I was reading through Rules for Radicals to see where he was coming from, I just happened to take a look at the dedication in the front of the book. And this is what I saw. Quote, Lest we forget at least an over-the-shoulder acknowledgement to the very first radical, the first radical known to man who rebelled against the establishment and did it so effectively that he at least won his own kingdom. Lucifer. Unquote. Saul Alinsky from Antonio Gramsci has had an incredible amount of influence on our president and on our society. And he dedicates his book openly to Lucifer, Satan. I think that says more about where their ideas and plans are based than anything else. You asked what Saul Alinsky's impact is on the leftist movement today, and it basically defines it. It defines it. 